Hello friends, I'm Robin Fike at Stamping Country and today we're going to have a little fun in my craft room with Pigment Sprinkles by Stampin' Up. They created this really fun colorful background. It comes in six Stampin' Up colors which I like because it coordinates with everything of course. And you may notice the shiny, that's shiny black embossing powder. We're going to use the Perennial Birthday Stamp Set to stamp our images and emboss those. So we'll start with that. We'll need a piece of watercolor paper because we're going to get a lot of water on it. I've cut that at three and a half by four and three quarters. And we're going to stamp our images with Versamark ink, which is a really sticky, clear ink. Because it's clear, you can't see it. So I'm going to skip some of the stamping just because I think it's going to bore you. You can't see it. But I'm going to stamp everything that I want to emboss. And then we're going to use the shiny black embossing powder. Can you see the shine on there? It's just so fun. And then we'll sprinkle our shiny black. You can even see the shine there. We'll tap that off. I'm going to do the heat embossing off screen. Oops, I forgot to use my embossing buddy. That's why I have embossing powder where I don't want it. To avoid this sound, I am, I am going to heat emboss off screen and then we'll do the pigment inks. Okay, so now it's heat embossed. See how shiny that is? Just love it. This would make a beautiful black and white card just as it is. But for today, we're adding color. First, you want to spritz it with some water. So you want to get your watercolor paper wet. And then we're going to start with our pigment inks. This is Daffodil Delight. Now it has three holes punched in the top already, but I've covered two of them with a little bit of washi tape just because I want it to come out a little slower. And then my second color, believe it or not, that is Granny Apple Green. I know it looks orange, doesn't it? Until it hits the water. And then it's green. And next we're going to use Melon Mambo, which is a bright, vibrant pink. And gorgeous grape. A very delicious purple color. There, there we go. And one more color. We're not going to use all six. We're going to use five of them. This is going to be Bermuda Bay. The other color is um, Mango Melody, but we're not going to use that today. We're only going to use five. So then we're going to spritz it again. I have some water and a little spritzer. Yeah, it looks a little saturated right now, doesn't it? So what I recommend, just let it sit there for just a little bit, and then we'll mat it. I normally would use a paper towel, but I'm out. So yeah, thought you would get a kick out of the happy birthday napkin. Okay, and you can see that this background looks totally different than the first card I showed you. And if this is going to happen every time, that is the fun of using these sprinkles. The way the water moves them and how much you sprinkle on there. See, I have a lot more Melon Mambo on my first card and more Bermuda Bay on the second card. But they both look fabulous. So we'll put our card together. This is the near the end. You can, can you see the shiny of the black embossing powder? Yeah, I just love it. It shines against that vibrant background. Uh, let's move this out of the way. Otherwise, I'm going to have pigment ink on my card. And we'll mat it with some basic black cardstock. It's cut just a little bit bigger, so it's cut three and three quarters by five. And then our card base is um, Melon Mambo. I've cut it six and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter and then I put a white panel in that is four inches by five and a quarter. And then we'll just put this on the front 
and we have a pretty card. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, and if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Thanks so much, and have a fabulous day.